Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another video with me, Ms. V. And today what we're going to be talking about is how to determine the scale factor of a dilation given either two figures, right? The original, the pre-image and the image, or given the pre-image coordinate and the image coordinate. Okay. So, um, when determining the scale factor of a dilation, obviously we have to compare the pre-image coordinates and the image coordinates. So for example, a to one, let's say that that point becomes a prime. Let me make that a little bit thinner. Let's say that that point becomes a prime four comma two. Okay. So as an example, let's just say that's what occurs. So notice how X and Y from the pre-image coordinate. Okay. So from the pre-image were both multiplied by two. So for example, A, the X coordinate, let me put that in pink. The X coordinate of A was two to go from two to a prime, which is now at four for the X coordinate. I have to multiply two times whatever the scale factor is, which in this case, two times two gives us four. Then the other point was one. Again, one times two gives us our Y value, which is at two. Okay, so whenever you're trying to figure out what the scale factor is, you always wanna look and compare the pre-image coordinate to the image coordinate. What I personally like to do is I like to just divide the image coordinate by whatever the pre-image is. So for example, the image coordinate for X is at four. If I divide four by the pre-image X value, which is two, I'm going to get my scale factor, which was two. Same thing if you do two divided by two, you're going to get, sorry, two divided by one, you're going to get two. Okay, so that tells you that the scale factor of that specific example is two. So notice how the X and Y from the preimage were both multiplied by two to get the new values of X and Y in the image. Maybe I should change the colors because I did the image in blue. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Pre-image and in the image, okay? So this is essentially how we determine the scale factor of a dilation. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at a quick example. So that method that I talked about where you just divide the coordinate by the, the image coordinate divided by the pre-image coordinate. The same thing applies whenever you have a dilation and I don't give you any coordinates, but I give you side lengths, okay? So for example, here, if I look at these two rectangles, we know that they're rectangles, okay? So first thing you wanna know about rectangles, of course, is that the opposite sides are congruent. So if this side is 10, the side that is across from it is also 10 inches. Same thing if AB, this side is six, the side that's opposite of six is also going to be six inches, okay? And same thing here in this triangle, in this rectangle, sorry, <laughs> in this rectangle EFGH, again, this side is 25 inches, so the side that's opposite of it is also gonna be 25 inches. And over here we have 15 on this side. So this side over here is also gonna be 15. And I'm gonna write it on the inside of the rectangle so we don't get it confused with the other, with the other rectangle. Okay. So now from here, we're trying to figure out what the scale factor is. So this, it says rectangle ABCD is similar to rectangle EFGH, okay? So what is the scale factor from rectangle ABCD to E, F, G, H, which means A, B, C, D. If you're going from A, B, C, D to E, F, G, H, A, B, C, D has to be our pre-image. And E, F, G, H is our image, okay? So again, to find the scale factor, we're gonna go ahead and divide our image our image coordinate by our pre-image coordinate, or in this case, our image side by the pre-image side, okay? So to find this scale factor, again, we know that the image 
And you can pick any side here if you want. You can do both sides to test it. But we know that the image here is um, rectangle EFGH. So I'm going to use this side 25 inches, OK? And I'm going to compare it with this side that's 10 inches. Because as you can see, EH and AD, they are in the same sort of vicinity, the same area. And then HG matches with CD, OK? So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to divide my image, which was 25 inches, by the pre-image, which is 10 inches. OK. And when you plug that into a calculator, you should get 2.5. OK. Same thing. You can try it again and test the side that is 15 inches divided by the side that measures six inches. And again, if you plug that into the calculator, you should get 2.5, which means that our scale factor is 2.5, okay? Over here, we have the important part is the center is at the origin. We're trying to find the scale factor. If the point N is six, seven, so our pre-image coordinate is six, seven. And 6, 7 becomes our image at 24, 28. So like I said, go ahead and to find the scale factor, divide the x value of your pre-image with the x value of your image, the y value of your pre-image with the y value of your image, OK? So my scale factor here equals, let's do x first, 24 divided by six, which is four. And again, and I'll put with X, and again, scale factor with Y now, instead of 24, the Y value of your image is 28. And the X value is, I'm sorry, the Y value is seven. 28 divided by seven is four. So our scale factor for this dilation is four, okay? So there are a couple more questions here on the worksheet if you guys wanna try those out. And I'll put this right here for a sec so y'all can pause the video, try out those two problems. And as always, if you guys ever have any questions, you can go ahead and leave some comments on the video, like my video, subscribe to my channel. You know you want to. And I will see you guys in another video. Have a great rest of your day, y'all. Bye.